Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we're back on the NBA 2K20. Today what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you guys what I feel like are the easiest drills in 2K20 this year. You know, if you're starting off on a new player, trying to come up with some drills that you feel like, you know, are the easiest ones to do, and you know, you can have good success while doing those, I'm going to be telling you guys what those are in this video today. And if you guys do want a jump shot video, I have a, this is a two-way slashing playmaker, and I've hit about six greens. Obviously, it's easier to hit greens in the training facility. Um, but I can go ahead and do a jump shot video if you guys would like. I, this jump shot I've been using for about a week now. And I feel like it is a lot better than the one um, that I was using previously. So if you guys would like a video on that later on, we can definitely do that. You know, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys um, would like to see that video. So for finishing, guys. Now these, again, are my opinion. And when I'm doing these, I'm taking into consideration the amount of points you get. Because you're not going to want to necessarily do a you know, the post moves up and under where you're only going to get 650 if you three star it. You'd rather do something where you get 700 or seven, uh, 700 or 750. Now, for the finishing drills, guys, I really like this one here, this contested finishes drills. Um, I feel like it is very, very easy. You could do lob finishes too. That one's pretty easy. Um, I haven't done it on this player. I've done it on a few other players and that one's easy. You could do lob finishes, but I would suggest doing um, contested finishes. I just feel like this is, is a pretty easy drill to do. We're going to go ahead and run through this one real quick. Show you guys what this one's looking like. I don't think it's very hard. It's, again, all you're doing is finishing at the rim. Now, the hardest part with this one is... Um, getting the acrobatic shot like it's not it's not that hard it's a lot easier driving baseline you just hold the stick to the left every single time um it's the other way um that goes hard so if you guys forget you can always just click on this and then it says either you got to reverse or do a euro um so you can do it that way and then you just you know run this way now this is the only one it doesn't always count for some reason there's sometimes where like i've done the right movement and it just doesn't count it like i did you just that way you just hold to the left. So if you're driving baseline, you hold to the left. I, yeah, it, it, it's not that difficult. You just hold the stick to the side, like straight up. And then you're going you're gonna to get an acrobatic shot. You either hold the stick to the right or the left. You just read the directions and it's easy. That's It's pretty much it. There's not really a way to, um, you know, really a easy way to mess it up. Um, that way we did the up and under. Um, either way, and then there's the easy 750 points. You can hold this one either right or left. Um, sometimes you'll like do some dumb things like that and hit the back of the backboard. It doesn't matter though. We still got our 750 points, even though I, I didn't need these points. Now that one's kind of difficult if you don't have like a very athletic player. Um, at first, it can be kind of hard, but once you once you do it a few times, it gets very easy. Um, pretty much, um, the baseline drives are easier than the euro step up by the key. Those ones are a lot easier. I would say do contested finishes because if you you know if you get them all, you get 750, and to me that extra 100 points. If you can do that consistently enough, it is worth it you could do that and then also put back finishing is easy and so is lab finishes i would say or you could do um contested finishing if you have a slasher i would say do that if you're having trouble over the um contested finishes just do um contact finishing if you have contact finisher already to help get those other badges you can do that now for shooting shooting there is one um that is straight up the easiest um there is there's i, I wouldn't pick another one and it is going to be this free throw golf I have a, um, like, I have very, my, my build is really, I have a two-way slashing playmaker, so shooting is my worst category. Um, and then this is the easiest one. It says it's the hardest, um, but you can just sit here, you know. You can upgrade your free throw or just put a good free throw on. Um, honestly, the free throw that I use that pretty much everyone uses, if you guys don't know, it's Michael Jordan's free throw, is probably one of the easiest free throws to make any shots with. This one takes a little bit of time just because you gotta wait for them to bounce bounce you the ball every single time. But you're just gonna you're pretty much gonna make most of your free throws if you have a good enough player. Like I I, I of course I said that and I missed that one. Great. And of course we are missing these free throws. Like this this is of course is gonna happen when I'm trying to do this video. No, this one's this one's very easy. Um if, if you have a build that can't shoot and you're trying to get your shooting badges, just go ahead and do this build this this drill. Like it is just something that you really, really have to try to screw up. I mean, it takes a little bit of time. It's kind of annoying, but you could just sit here, listen to music, um, try stuff like that. But that one's easy. That one's easy enough. And then that's an easy way to get your shooting badges if you have like a slasher build kind of like mine. Um, it definitely helps, you know, you, you know, smash through those shooting badges um, as quick as possible. Now for playmaking, there is a few that you can do. Um, this, again, is my opinion. 
The easiest one I feel like is the outlet passing. If you're having trouble with outlet passing, you can also do alley-oop passing. This one's okay. It really depends on who you have as your big running. That is what I've noticed. You can do that. Or you can do this pick on roll, pick and roll, two on two passing. That one's also very easy. I would suggest doing this before the alley-oop passing. That's just me. So I would do outlet passing first pick and roll, and then alley-oop. But we're gonna do the outlet pass, and this one's extremely easy. You just get the ball at the rebound and you chuck it down. The only thing I hate about this is some the camera used to flip. The camera used to flip completely and I hated it. So like you'd be facing the other way and then it would flip. So what I like to do is just pass, um, you could go down further too, like pass down to LeBron if I wanted to. Um, I usually go wherever the defender isn't. Um, just speak wherever that first defender goes. I just kind of like doing it that way. You can sometimes go It just depends because sometimes they don't sprint because see, like that time I didn't get anything which was really really weird and usually see if you if you go there They'll pick it off every single time So what you need to try to do is go wherever that second defender doesn't go I mean the first defender doesn't run to um, is usually like what I like to try to do because then you're getting a guaranteed two every single time um, There's no way they're picking it off. So just wherever they don't run you know, icon pass down to whoever they, whoever that first defender doesn't run to. And you're pretty much set every time. Because as long as they get the two points, you'll get it. Now, I did screw up on one of those turns. So you can see how that'll work. But eventually, even though I did screw up on one of them, as long as you get a two, eight times at least, um, you're, you're set. So you don't have a problem with that one. So that one's pretty easy. That's the easiest one. You literally just get three bound. And then pass to wherever the defender doesn't run. For the defending drill, guys, um, there is a few you could do. Um, I personally like this charge card one. I didn't play as many defending drills with on this build just because I played with this build a lot, and defending badges are pretty easy to get if you just play the game. Um, you'll get them eventually. Also, protect the 10 is easy, too. Um, but we're gonna go, you could do chase down if you, I guess, have chase down artist and you want to mess around with that, see if you can get any cool blocks, I guess, in the practice. But I feel like charge, charge is the easiest one. Um, it, it just, I, I don't know. It's just very, very easy. You just pretty much walk up in front of the defender and hold, and hold B or hold uh, circle. So whoever comes at you, um, you just, you know, run forward. And sometimes you get in like a crappy animation like that. Um, and you, you don't take it, which is really strange. Like they'll get you that weird bump. And it's, and it's annoying because there's nothing you're able to do. So you just run up and then you want to make sure you take a step forward. Um, I know you're not in the, the restricted circle. You can't see it. Um, but it's just easier works better if you take like a step or two into them and then have them uh, make you fall down. Um, see like there, if you don't take a step, it'll sometimes do that. If you don't take like a far enough step out, it'll give you that weird bump. Like... It, it, that's just what I've noticed. So if you got to make sure you're taking somewhat of a leap out at the defender or, And then you see you'll get that weird bump where you don't take the charge It's very annoying and it's one of these things that you just got to practice at like the more you do it Obviously the better you'll get and it's annoying because there's nothing you're able to do about it. Like you can't It's like you're, you're going there to take the charge. I'm pretty sure you need seven. I'm pretty sure I, I need seven to win So there yeah, it's gonna be seven so we got that one, so we just need to get this last one, and then we would get our three stars. Um, charge card is kind of annoying, though, as you can see. Like, you gotta make, if you don't take a step out, you're not gonna get it. So you gotta make sure you walk out and then hold B, and just make sure you walk out the right defender. But guys, those are the easiest four drills you can do in this game to get those 750, 700 points. Every single time, guys, I would suggest going ahead and trying out those drills. If you guys have any other easy drills that I did not mention, you can put it down in the comments below. Um, that, again, was just my opinion. Uh, but hopefully you guys, you know, can wrap up your player a little bit quicker now with those drills, guys. Anyways, it's been King Clutch here, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and peace out, guys. Thanks.